What's going on everybody? Uh, I'm Cubby from Cubby Shoots. I wanted to welcome everyone to A, my YouTube channel if you've never been here before, uh, and second to the first ever Talking Head Tuesday. Today I wanted to go through five ways that you can move your photography from something you merely do as a hobby to something you do as an amateur or a professional or something you, you spend more time on. So without further ado, here are the five ways to move from a hobbyist photographer to a amateur or professional photographer. So tip number one is shoot a lot. Check Facebook, Instagram, ask your friends if you can do TFP shoots with them, which is trade for prints or in today's digital world, trade for some files. This is a great way to shoot a ton of different models. They're gonna post your photos, they're gonna tag you, tons of different locations, they're gonna show you cool places and you're gonna have all kinds of ideas. Along with doing TFP shoots, my second recommendation in this shoot a lot category is to always carry a camera with you. Now for a lot of folks, that's no issue. You have a great camera and a great video camera that shoots in 4K in your pocket at all times. What I like to do is carry with me my ZV-1. I'm a big fan of this camera. It fits in my pocket. It's got the flip out screen. I can shoot vlog style. I can take photos that are really, really, really nice. The second piece of that is it reminds me that I am a photographer and have a camera in my pocket. My day to day, my professional use is all on that Sony a7 III, which I also love, but I don't always want to carry a bag around if I'm going out to the bar or going to go meet up with some friends. So I carry this with me. Makes me shoot way more, makes me take a lot of pictures. Next in this shoot a lot category is try to find your niche or niche, however you want to pronounce that, not an English major. For me, that's going to be raw bourgeois style. I love shooting natural beauty. I love shooting that bourgeois, that, that sexy, deep gaze. I love shooting that. I've shot a lot of different things in my life. I've shot weddings. I've shot senior portraits. I've shot, you know, event. I've shot street. I've shot everything. But for me, the style that resonated with me is that bourgeois, that raw style. You can shoot bourgeois with fully clothed women. Let me just make that a point. Bourdois is a style for me. And I understand I'm probably gonna get a bunch of hate in the comments. Oh no, Bourdois is this and that. Fine. For me, that's what it means. Find your niche and post photos and take photos of that and refine your talent. My last piece of advice on the shoot a lot category is to find interesting models. Not models that you think are gonna interest the greater public, but models that interest you. I had an amazing photography instructor one time that said, you have to fall in love with every single one of your models. Not necessarily, obviously, romantic love, but you have to fall in love, whether it's the shape of their jaw, or the way that the light hits a curve on their body, or just a look that they can get in their eyes, or a smile. Fall in love with that aspect of them, and it will come through in every single photo you take. Often, your photos are gonna get lost in the, if you're shooting the same models that everybody else is shooting, the same style of model, the same glamour, the same whatever. So find some models that are goth, find some models that are tattooed, find some models that are short, tall, whatever it is, find models that are not being shot by every photographer in your area and shoot them to show some diversity. Tip number two on moving from hobbyist to amateur or professional photographer is to take your time. Go the extra mile and put in the little bit of effort. If you go on Instagram today, if you go on YouTube today, there's a zillion people out there who are just snapping photos and putting them online. If you move things around the background a little bit, focus a little bit on your lighting. Go and buy a $40 little LED light that you can use when you're recording to give you a key light if you don't have a studio. I'm obviously shooting in a living room. I don't have a studio. But spending a couple extra minutes on lighting, a couple extra minutes on focal length, a couple extra minutes on all that kind of stuff before you hit the record button is gonna put you in a category above every hobbyist out there. The next tip under the take your time category is going to be equipment. Now I wanna be very, very clear here. There's a lot of videos out there where people are talking about the best gimbal and the best lens and the best lighting. 
you're a hobbyist and trying to move beyond that. Now, whether or not you have a great day job, you probably don't have the money to, I know I don't, to buy a Mavic Air 2 and to get the nicest Rode microphones and get an SMB uh, microphone for, for podcasting and get all the fancy lights that you can get. Do it on a budget. Find some cheap stuff that gets you there. I do recommend not shooting everything on your iPhone. iPhone photography, because of the algorithm in here, all kind of looks the same. Get yourself a somewhat decent camera. It doesn't even matter, but have a camera that you dedicate to photography because when you are holding that item, when you're shooting with that item, you will realize I'm shooting photos. I'm not taking a photo on my phone, responding to a text message, this and that. You're in your photography mode, you're in your creative space, you're there shooting for yourself. Category number three, moving to amateur pro photographer is going to be give your time. Recognize where you're at. I see so many people when I'm on set, I see so many people when I'm at a shoot that are pay me for this, pay me for that, here's how much my time costs, here's how much this is, and their photos and their videos, frankly, are Yo! They're crap. You can take a better photo, you can take more time shooting with your thing. Give some of your time. I'm not saying give away all your time. If you're trying to make it a business, this piece of advice isn't for you. This is for people who want to take their craft from being a hobby to something that they actually invest time in. And for me, that means giving away time. Whether that's volunteering to shoot somebody, whether that's um, trying things that you might not do, going out on the street and asking people if you can take photos of them. I did that for months. Would just walk out on the street and ask people if I could take photos of them. The third thing on here is get excited. The more excited you are, the more you run into a situation, the more you tell that model, heck yeah, that looks great, this is awesome, all these types of things are going to make your photography that better. You're gonna get a better response out of the person. You're gonna get a better response out of your lens. For me, it's all about being excited, giving my time, being part of the community, liking photos and commenting on people's and, and following people that ins inspire you so that your life is surrounded by this creative energy of all of these people and, and models and photographers and videographers and writers and spoken word people that are just inspiring all these feelings to you because they come through the lens. They come through what you're shooting. If you're out there just trying to take a nice corporate headshot, you're gonna get that. If you're out there trying to take this intimate photo of a woman in an abandoned house doing her makeup like this one, you're gonna get that through the lens of like, of what it is. So always, always get excited, give your time, be ready for it, be present in the moment. Item number four, in the how to switch from being a hobbyist to an amateur pro photographer is going to be simply have some guts. If there's somebody you want to shoot with, ask. If there's a space you want to shoot in, ask. If you want to walk down the street and ask strangers for, for, for portraits, ask. There is nothing wrong with asking. The worst thing that someone can say is no. I spent so much of my time this summer walking around asking people if I could shoot with them, hitting people up on Instagram, Facebook, my friends that had cool businesses or a cool tattoo or a shop or a van or whatever it was, hey, can I shoot some photos of you? Yeah, it's gonna be awkward. It's only as awkward as you're making it, but yeah, it's gonna be a little awkward. That's part of the business. If you're on set and you want a model to do something else, you want a model to move or move her hair, show some motion or change how she looks, ask. There's nothing wrong with asking, and you'll probably get the result that you want. Fifth, and finally, is take it seriously. You're doing something that very few people go out and try to do. You're trying to grow something, whether that's growing your business, whether that's growing your portfolio, whether that's growing your Instagram followers to be an influencer or whatever it is. You are now purposely trying to do something. So do that every day. Let it let it consume you. Be obsessive about it. I wake up every single morning and I know I got to post a photo. I got to post an Instagram story. I got to record video. I got to do these things every single day. And some days they're trash. They're garbage. But the more you do it, the more consistent you are, the more you 
show your audience that you're there to give them something every day and not ask and not take from them, the faster you will grow. In the past month, I've seen my Instagram double in followers. I'm not a big influencer. I'm not a big popular guy, as you can tell probably by the views on this YouTube video. But it's growing every single day, and every single day gives me hope. And I'm humbled by the appreciation everyone's shown me. I'm humbled by the support, and thank you all very much. Well, that's all for Talking Head Tuesday. Again, I'm Cubby of Cubby Shoots. Hit the like button, hit subscribe. I think I'm supposed to tell you to do that. Uh, check me out on Instagram at Cubby Shoots. Check out behind the scenes at at I Shoots Cubby Shoots. Um, check us out, see what we got going on. Uh, tons of great stuff coming, tons more content, tons more things. If you want to see something in a future video, uh, feel free to leave a comment or whatever. If you hated this, tell me how to get better. This is my first Talking Head Tuesday. Thank you.